Hello and welcome to PumpDex tutorial on the 217V pump rebuild. Today we'll be taking apart our 217V pump, replacing the parts inside, and putting it back together. This pump needs kit A and kit B. In kit A, we have grease, two wave washers, two spreaders, two backing rings, one plunger, four V-rings, and two insulating washers. In kit B, we have more grease, four O-rings, valves, and eight white washers. Now let's take apart our pumps. For this rebuild, I would recommend having a 3 16 hex wrench or a drill, a small screwdriver, a little bit of water, a towel, and the grease from kit A and kit B. The first thing that we're gonna do is take our pump and rest it on its manifold. That way we have access to the heads because that is where the two bolts that secure the heads to the manifolds are. Let's take off those bolts and we'll flip the pump back onto its heads and take off that manifold. With the manifold, there should be four clear washers that might be sitting on those valves still, so we'll take those four white clear washers off and we'll put those to the side. Um, we can also get at the valves, the O-rings, and four more clear white washers. Now that those parts are out of the way, we can take our heads off of the plunger, and this should just slide off. So I'll do one side first and then hold the plunger and take the other side off. And we can take the contents out of the head once we have that retainer plate out of the head. So we'll take that retainer plate off and then we'll take off the parts all at once. It doesn't matter the order because we're gonna replace them and I'll show you how to do that. Now we wanna get kit A and replace those parts that go inside that seal bore of the head, the, the big hole that goes into the head. First, we'll take the insulating washer. The orientation should matter on this, so you can put it in any way you want. Then we'll take the wave washer and notice how there's a smoother side and a shinier side and there's kind of a uh, less shiny and kind of a rougher edge. We'll want that side facing us as we put the washer into the seal bore. Next is the spreader and the orientation is important. We want the pointed side facing out and then we will take some grease and put that on the V-rings. And so we'll do one V-ring and two V-rings or we can do them together. Kind of grease those a little bit with the grease that came with kits A and B. And put on your finger, slide it around, and it should nestle on top of that spreader. So if it's not sitting tight on that spreader, you know that the spreader's in the wrong way or your V-seals are in the wrong way. After the V-seal, our last piece is the backing ring. Um, once the backing ring is in, it should almost kind of click in or kind of sit, so it sits flush with that seal bore opening of the head. And finally, this came with the pump, the retainer plate. We're gonna slide the retainer plate, as seen in the video, into that slot. There are two dimples on opposite ends of the retainer plate and those will be in the pump so you won't see those once the once the retaining plate is in position. We'll pack both heads and once those are ready to go we'll grab our plunger and we can lightly grease each side so it slides in to each head if you want to with that grease that came from kit A and B and we'll want to orient that slot so when you can see those valve pockets the slot will be facing away from us. This will be important because that opening needs to be able to reach the cam when you put it back on the motor. So with the plunger in position in between the pumps and the pump heads nearly touching, you might want them nearly touching because when you put the manifold back on top of the heads, there will be a little bit of space needed for it to snugly fit. Uh, the next stage though is to get that manifold and heads ready to be put together. So we will put uh, the clear white washers on the heads and manifold valve pockets. There should be eight white washers and I like to use water on the manifold washers because when you flip it over, it's easy for them to stay in if there is a little bit of moisture keeping them in those pockets. And then I put my valves in. So the valve orientation is important. There's a sticker on top of the pump. This denotes where our outlets will be. So the top of the pump is where the outlets are across from each other from each pump head. Below the pump outlets are the pump inlets, which are the O's. And so you want an X and an O on each pump head. And each pump head has their X and O's across from each other. Once those washers and valves are in place, we want to put our O-rings over those valves from kit B, the 116 O-rings. And they should just fit on those valve pockets with the valves, one, two, three, four. And with those in place, we are able to flip our manifold with the white washers in them over onto our heads. Now we can flip all of it back onto the manifold so we can get those bolts with the metal washers into those holes to secure the heads to the manifold. Once those are secure, we can look and see if our plunger is in the right spot, halfway in between with the slot facing us now. And if that is correct, 
we can check that our outlets are where they are supposed to be. So if you look at the sticker side of the pump and you look into the ports, you may be able to see an X on that sticker side. That means that the outlet is facing you and it's in the right position. If you look below and you see the O in the bottom port, then you know that's your inlet and that is also correct. And you can check both sides, make sure they're right. And with your plunger in the right spot and the valves correctly placed, you are good to go. Thank you for watching our tutorial on the 217V pump rebuild. If you have any other questions, please give us a call, view our other videos, or visit our website. Thank you and have a great day.